FBI team now, the Georgia Secretary of State is investigating whether two adult sons of a Gwinnett school board member committed voter fraud in this year's May primary election. Now, since 2020, both sons have lived and worked in other states. But Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis says neither one transferred their voting address to those new homes, Randy. That's right, Courtney and Russ. Now, some Georgians can legally vote here even if they live in another state. Members of the military, college students, someone who owns property here. But none of those apply to the sons of Gwinnett School Board Vice Chair Steve Knudsen. At this time, I call to order the July 21st, 2022 work session for the Gwinnett County Board of Education. Stephen Knudsen is finishing up his first term on the Gwinnett County Board of Education. A father of four, when he ran for re-election in May, his three sons cast early ballots together on Sunday, May 15th. The problem, two of those sons do not live in Georgia. Congratulations, class of 2022. The day after the primary, Knutson spoke at the Lanier High School graduation. Listen to his introduction. And they have four grown children. Kennedy, who is married in Atlanta, Kelsey, who lives in Savannah, Kyla, who is married and lives in Birmingham, and Kevin, who is married and lives in Phoenix, Arizona. Facebook posts show Kevin moving to Arizona in August 2020. Brother Kyler moved to Birmingham the same year. They never registered to vote in those states, keeping their voting address at their parents' house in Sugar Hill. So what does the law say? You must be a legal resident of Georgia and of the county in which you wish to vote. But at the time the two Knutson sons voted here in Gwinnett County, they were each claiming to be residents of other states. Both are in the insurance business. According to Kevin's Arizona insurance license, it shows his domicile state as Arizona and lists him as a resident. The same goes for brother Kyler in Alabama. Randy Travis with Fox 5 News. I want to talk to you, I know it's raining here, but I want to talk to you about your sons. Did you know that your two sons live out of state, voted in the uh, Georgia primary this year? I've got no comment. Do you know that? Well, they... They live in Arizona and Alabama. What are they doing voting in Georgia? Well, COVID had them in temporary situations out of state. And so they were back here. They still maintain residence in Georgia and they voted. Knutson originally ran as a Republican in his first campaign. Gwinnett School Board elections are now nonpartisan and settled before the general election. Knutson beat challenger Michael Rudnick by more than 6,000 votes. It shouldn't happen. If you live in another state, you shouldn't vote in a state where you don't live. Truth be told, you lost by more than two votes. Correct, yeah. So it wouldn't have made any difference. No, not at they all. hadn't voted. No. Then what's the big deal? It's the fact that it took place. I don't think COVID from 2020 is a reason to vote in a different state in May of 2022. And I think that's a form of illegal voting. The Secretary of State has opened an investigation. Neither son returned an email request for comment. They uh, told the insurance commissioner in both of their states, Arizona and Alabama, that they lived in those states. So which one is true? Are they living in Arizona and Alabama or are they living in Georgia? Mr. Knutson, you know that Randy. voter issues are important, right? No, I do, I do. And because of COVID and a number of other issues, they, um, you know, had temporary status. Secretary of State's looking into it, and if it ends up uh, being an issue, then they'll have to deal with it. Now, I asked Knutson whether he was worried his sons are going to be in legal trouble. He said, quote, there may be something. Now, it's going to be up to the state election board to ultimately decide if there is something once the, um, the Secretary of State's office wraps up its investigation. Well, if you're living and doing business in another state, you would think you'd be old enough to, to know better that you couldn't come back to Georgia and even vote for death. Right. That might be the thing that, that trips them up here, Russ, because, you know, they are working selling insurance in these other states right. and they've got a license that says they're living in those other states and that's where they should be voting, it sounds like, not here in Georgia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Randy, thanks. Okay. Thanks, Randy.